My name is Ruth Waziri, aka Rudy Baby, aka Rudy. A. I just finished masters from Sheffield Hallam Public Health. I am a content creator. I am a model, and I'm a designer. I mean, I'm, I'm just look at me as a very talented and creative person. Did you say I'm a model? My model. <laughs> Modeling here. I'm not a typical model size. They complain about my hip. My nyash is a commotion. Too small it's, to it's, be. This small nyash. Is it is too big. Oh, power belongs here. Bum, bum. Hey, gig, 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 gig. But really, how has living in the UK been for you? It's going to like two years now, mm -hmm. right? How has mm. it been? Living in the UK has been sweet and sour. Mm. Um, personally, sometimes I feel like I can't give a typical reply as to what living in the UK is because, like, when I came, you know, for some people, when they come, they don't have anyone here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They literally have to do everything from scratch, from. Find your way. Literally. Would you say coming to the UK messed with your mental health or not really? It did. First things first, I wasn't working for a while, so I was really, really broke. And it was like my sister had already done so much, so I kind of felt weird to ask her why I wanted to oh, buy jeans. Yeah. Oh, there's this nice boot. So I want not, like, to essential. buy. Yeah, and then it, it, it kind of, I was like, oh my God, how am I supposed to live without money? And mm. then I couldn't get a job. And then when I now started working, I was doing a care job. Ideally, it's what people do here. I like it when I have lots of friends that do care jobs, but for me, it wasn't for me. So like I swear, that thing put me through so much stress. Mm. Handling people, you go to work, there are people that yell at you, you know, mm. the, and you just have to deal with it because they are They're technically clients. not okay. You know, mm. like, because I, I, I dealt with like dementia patients. Yeah. I will come back home and cry. One day I came back home and cried. I told my sister, I'm not are doing this work. I told her, it is for me to not so, eat. Sorry guys for the sound, there's a construction ongoing behind yeah. us. So I told her if it's for me to like not, I mean I have food and roof over my head, but this job is not for me, it's it for stressed me. me so much. And then um, there were also a couple of times where I missed home so much. Mm. And the things I like back home now in Nigeria, I enjoy, like I enjoy sewing, Jesus, yeah. like back home. Well, after service, I was home for like a year before I came here, the whole COVID period. Yeah. I did so many projects, like I embarked on so many things and it's just like my happy place. So coming mm. here, there was no space for me to do that mm. because we were still like, my sister was still in a small house. I didn't have a machine, I couldn't sew, I couldn't do anything. So, so those, things, for you. those things that made me happy, I could not do for like a long time. Mm. And it really put me down in like, you know, so many ways. and. Those little things of comfort you were like back home, those things you will easily eat. It's, it's like, it, I, I can always say it's, it's those, those little, little things. It's those little, little things that just build up because it's not just one thing that makes you feel down. Imagine going to work, you had a shitty day at work, then you come back and you're craving bolly and roasted yam. And you can't satisfy that craving. And then you think, you know what? At that point, you gotta make it yourself. It's just, it's, it's, it's not tiring. You now have to like, it's not, there's no ease. You, you're literally trying to acclimatize. Mm. So that whole change impacted because it's like, oh, you're literally having to change what you're used to, to something new. And you need to accept that this is something you have to get used to as well. So it's, it takes a lot to accept. It weighs you down, but it's not like I was borderline depressed. I was just, I had like my lows. Like I really had my lows and then I had my lows and then I'm not, I, I'm the mushy mushy love kind of person and then <laughs> and then you know the times where you think oh I don't have a boyfriend, oh like I would I would really love to tell someone how oh I'm feeling was. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I had a boyfriend back in Nigeria when I came and we had just started shortly dating, it wasn't even up to six months and then I honestly cannot do distance like oh. I want so to, to be. So you have to break up with him? We had to because he it's not like he had any plans of coming to England. Oh no. But then oh, we no, at least no, we tried no, till no, February. No. Like when I came yeah. January, we still we were dating till like February, March, I think. But we are literally because we were literally friends for like lot. we were friends for like four or five years from high school before yeah. we even started dating. Yeah. Till now, like I could still call him to help me out with something like back in Kaduna yeah. and be like, oh, my mom's phone is spoiled. She does my mom is not the type to know gadgets. Can any of your phone guys you know, help me buy a phone, take to my mom yeah. and I'll pay you and he's more than okay, you know, like we have that relationship. So you guys are still friends? We're really, we're really cool and we're still friends. But then it really broke my heart because I'm like, I can't, it's really sad, you know, changing, it changes a lot, you know, mm. this is someone you really like and then at the end of the day you can't be, I mean, I can't do, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I promise you, I can't promise my, my... <laughs>
I mean, already commitment is a big deal, know, you know. I know. I you have to you. be, Absolutely. and then be that you are miles away. I've mm. not gone. Imagine dating for Sorry. two years. I've not gone to Nigeria since then. What, like, who are we lying to? People mm. do it all, and I'm give, I give them kudos, but I'm, none of us is in a place to fly regularly to yeah, see yeah, the other yeah, one because yeah. flights are crazy you. expensive. So I anyway, I have to now join Tinder. So is your move more permanent or um, you're seeing how it goes, mm. or are you, are you certain about like how you want to run it? for now i think for now you know i just moved to the uk like a month now mm -hmm. so i think it's too soon to decide if i'm staying back or going back or going to another country for yeah, yeah 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 okay I, I get that i get I actually that. love to travel i love to explore yeah i've noticed you know when next you're planning a trip you should let me know in the past two years moving has been the best decision i've made solely because like my life has changed from january 2021 to here like so much has happened so much has changed from social media growth brands i've worked with places i've had to go because of work um people i've met that i never thought i could meet people i've spoken to it's just it's been the best decision so far moving do you think you like to buy your own car in the uk or definitely to public transport definitely want to buy my imagine if i had to do this shoot every weekend mm. for content for uh, like the new week right. i would definitely need to be able to it's like move lot. about comfortably yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so um, i don't like the way this camera is shaking you're sure it's not for it's fine it's fine so i actually mounted the camera to the bonnet of the car and she's uh artist in my in her mouth ha it is so because <laughs> So as I just they go now money be this so now money be fine but 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 for someone who you drove in Nigeria right mm -hmm. who drove in Nigeria what was it like for you to adapt to the driving Jesus. roads here it's especially not even... switching from here to here let me tell you when I came every time we we're going out my sister will go I will now come and be I want to enter here and sit down she's like okay are you driver why are you coming to sit in my seat or something like that so it was hard though and then someone took um, told me of one trick that I should always imagine that I am in the middle, like I'm always in the middle of the road as a driver. One thing that has made me really happy in the past month is my dissertation topic. Mm. I did a dissertation on sickle cell and it was it's a topic I'm really passionate about and I got a distinction in that so it was Ooh, literally great. Uh, uh, I, I loved we? look we're we're smarties over here. We're not you know <laughs> No, 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 that was something that made me really happy. My dissertation topic is literally one of the best decisions I've made because it gave me that fulfillment of something I've always wanted to do and it turned out great. My supervisor loved it and everything, the school loved it and stuff like that. So it was really great. I was very happy to leave Nigeria, like God knows. There was no sadness. I mean, I cried when my mom hugged me. I mean, but but the when I jumped on the plane and I sat down, I was like, yes. Freedom. We don't go. <laughs> I was really, it's like, it's, it's, it's really exciting, regardless mm. of you leaving your family. It's a, it's a new start, and I love, I mean, new change beginning. is scary, but I mm. love change. It's like it's a, it's a mm. whole different atmosphere. New people. New people and all of that. So I was very excited, and then you come, you need to make friends. Mm. I think when I came, I probably, I had one, I have one friend in London, Salim. Then I, I know someone here, Silver, one Mr. Nobody. Maybe I'll show you his face. He's a photographer, okay. but that's his okay. name, Mr. Nobody. Okay. So like he was like he's like the only person I knew in Manchester, Gong Gong. Okay. So it was probably through Silver mm. that I met, you know, one person, another person. And then when you meet those people now, you now meet another person. And then now I, getting bigger. Now I have like four friendship groups. And you're I like know, right? and you're like, how did this happen? <laughs> like it was it was really it was a really great day. All right, I so don't speak English too much, my mom's they even came. You don't try. Really so At this point, do we work out? Knowing fully we will still come back and carry the camera, but like it's a good way yeah, to end no, the video. It's All right. content creation. <laughs> I gave you a final lapse of kisses. Aww.